I'm Stephanie Ackerman. I'm a professional scrum trainer and a coactive coach. I'm also the professional scrum master courseware curriculum steward for scrum.org. I run an agile training and coaching business called Agile Socks. I'm here today to talk to you about a scrum myth. That myth is that we don't plan in scrum. Well, I'm here to tell you that we actually do plan in Scrum. In fact, I think we just plan more effectively. And I would argue that we even have more planning than in traditional methods. So first off, the big difference here is that we look at planning differently. We emphasize the activity of planning over the plan itself. I love the quote, plans are useless, planning is indispensable. And that's really how we treat it. We know the plan is going to change. And this also is honoring the agile value of adapting to change over following a plan. It enables us to do that. So first off, the activity of planning is collaborative. The sprint starts with sprint planning. So that's a giveaway that that sprint event actually has the word planning in it. And that event is where the entire scrum team gets together and there's a collaborative negotiation to determine what is the valuable outcome that we want to achieve for this sprint, represented as our sprint goal, and then how are we going to do that? And the development team is going to create a sprint backlog that's gonna serve as their plan of what they want to deliver and how they're going to deliver it. We also see planning in our other scrum events. The daily scrum is essentially a collaborative planning session for the development team. They're inspecting their progress and adapting their plan to meet the sprint goal. The sprint review is also a collaborative session to gather the input needed to help plan the next sprint. The sprint retrospective also is a collaborative planning session to help enable and plan for continuous improvement of how we are working together with regards to our processes, our tools, our interactions. Also in Scrum, another key difference is that the people doing the work are who own the plan. The development team owns the sprint backlog. They're the ones who deliver the working software. So they're the ones who are in the best position to know how to plan it, to know what their current progress is, to, a, to show transparent progress in the sprint backlog. And for release level planning or forecasting, the entire scrum team is going to be involved in that. It requires collaboration because of those distinct accountabilities of the scrum role. We also talk about scrum as a way to reduce the waste in planning. A plan is going to be out of date the moment after you've documented it essentially. So we want to keep the plan lightweight, make it easy to update. So some ways that we're reducing waste when we do planning in Scrum is we're trying to minimize the time that we spend analyzing things that are far out into the future that may never even happen. We also try to minimize the amount of time that we're spending analyzing things to a really, really fine level of detail where we're giving ourselves this false hope that we're going to be accurate and going to be able to predict the future. There is a point where our gains in accuracy will no longer outweigh the time that we're spending to get there. We want to accept the complexity and unpredictable nature of software development that make it impossible to have a perfect plan. We also incorporate meaningful feedback every time we plan. So by doing the work, by building that product, we're going to learn valuable information that's going to help us adapt our plans and prevent us from doing things that aren't going to add value that we could consider that we would consider waste. In Scrum, we are recognizing this inherent unpredictability in software development. And by being honest about it, we can be transparent about our current progress, about our likely completion dates. And this helps us build trust with our stakeholders. This enables us to use an empirical process to enable business agility, to make difficult decisions, and to do professional work. Planning is essential in Scrum, and I hope you understand that now. If you would like to continue this conversation, 
feel free to shoot me an email, stephanie at agilesocks.com. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn. You can find me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is the Travel Chica. And you can also read more of my writing on the Scrum.org blog or on my website where I have a blog, www.agilesocks.com. Thank you.